Aha! Oh, hello, Gus. I said, aha. Well, so you did. Why? What's up? Well, you're making sandwiches. Lots and lots of sandwiches, and that means you're up to something. Oh, I suppose you think we're all going on a picnic and leaving you behind. Is that what's worrying you? Well, are you? Of course we're not. Sometimes you are really a silly snail. These are for Wayne. Oh, well, he can't eat all those. Nobody could possibly eat all those. Well, he's going to have a good try. Oh. He needs lots of food. Oh. After all, he is an Iron Man. Oh. At least he will be when he wins his competition. And uh, he's going to the city, you see, so I'm going to uh, make him some food for the trip. So, now you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what does that aha uh -huh mean? It means that what this country needs is an iron snail competition. Oh, goodness. Yep, think of it. Iron snails everywhere. Yes, well, uh, that's certainly an interesting idea. Do you want a banana? Iron snails running the trains, the trams, the buses, the country and... Do you want a sandwich? Hey? I said, do you want a sandwich? You can do a taste test on them if you like. I'm sure Wayne wouldn't mind. Uh, well, I'd rather have a knock-knock. Oh, all right, OK. Knock-knock. Who's there? Uh, Warner. Warner who? Warner lift. My car's outside. <laughs> no, you're teasing, just because my car isn't fixed. Oh, would I do a thing like that? Yes, you would. Knock-knock. Ah, who's there? N-E. N-E who? Anybody you like, as long as you uh, let me finish what I'm doing. Hi, Roxanne. Oh, Wayne, here, I've just finished. Look, there you go. Three oh, lots full. Thanks, Roxanne. Your sandwiches are always good out. <laughs> Hi, Gus. Bye, Gus. Uh, Roxanne, do you think he needs a manager in the city? What? Yeah, yeah, that's what he does need, a manager. Someone good at public relations to look after him. Someone like me. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, dummy. Dummy who? Dummy a favour and pass the offer on. Tell Wayne that I, Gus, will be his own personal manager. All right, hmm. knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Al. Al who? I'll go right now and tell Wayne what you said. Al. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Wayne. Oh, hi there, Bill. Is this for me? Special, a piece of blue metal. Very tasty. Oh, gee, uh, thanks very much, Bill. Yeah, I'll put it next to Rox's sandwiches. Yeah. Don't you call me Rox, Wayne Wallet, or there won't be any sandwiches. I'll take them back. Oh, no, no, Roxanne, you can't do that. I need them. It's a long trip to the city. Uh, sure you won't need any help, Wayne? Yes, Gus thinks you need a personal manager, someone good at public relations, someone like him. Oh, someone would like to look after me entry forms, eh? Yeah, something like that. Uh, he's offering to do it for you. Now, there's an offer you can't refuse. Well, I'd better go and talk to him then, eh? <laughs> oh, Bill, don't oh. you dare encourage Wayne to have Gus as his personal manager. Oh, sorry, Roxanne. I thought it was funny. Oh, I thought it was funny, too. Yeah, I tell you, how about a riddle? All right. Yeah, come on. Now, tell me, when do you need a pocket calculator? I know that one. Uh, when you don't know how many pockets you've got, and you've got to count them, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, first time. <laughs> I didn't mean it, Gus. Uh -oh. oh, stop it, Gus. Well, something's happening. I'd better go and see. <laughs> it's a wonderful offer. You're very, very lucky. Here's Roxanne. She'll tell you. I'll tell him what? What are you two arguing about? Oh, we're not arguing, Roxanne. No, we're just disagreeing. Oh, what are you disagreeing about? Well, it's like this, Roxanne. No, it... it's like this. Shh. Look, Wayne, I thought you came over to thank us for offering to be uh, your personal manager. Yeah, and that's what I did. <laughs> and then he laughed at me because I wanted to be an iron snail. Well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Of course he didn't. No, it's just that, that, that there probably aren't enough iron snails around to have a competition. That's it. What do you reckon, Roxanne? Oh, I think you're right, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, and you can't have a competition without... Uh... Of course you can't. You need competitors. Other iron snails. Lots of them. And how many iron snails do you know, Gus? Ah, uh, well, well... When you put it like that... <gasps> what? Uh, Me uncle's what? letters. Uncle Merv's what? letters. He wants me to post them in the city. Well? Well, I've got to get out and get them, and they're up at the house, and the, and the train's going to come soon. Maybe he does need a personal manager. He's always forgetting things. I don't see why there have to be other iron snails. What? With no other snails, I'd have to be the winner. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and then I'll show them I'll be the most famous iron snail in the world. <laughs> in fact, I'll be the only iron snail in the world. Now, 
This will take some planning. And that knapsack gives me an idea. Phil, come on, we have to be ready to say goodbye to Wayne. <laughs> oh, what's this? More blue metal for Wayne? Uh, no, Rox, it's a piece uh, for you, a present. Oh, you are really a nice steam shovel, Bill. Even if you do call me Rox, oh. thank you. Well, Rox are the nicest things I know. <laughs> oh, you are sweet. Would you like a riddle while we wait for Wayne? Oh, why not? I've got the very, very one. All right. Where should you put your dog when you drive to the shops? In a barking spot, of course. <laughs> yes, but don't remind me about driving in cars. You know Mr Wallop hasn't fixed my car yet. Oh, sorry, Roxanne. I'll give you one to cheer you up, eh? All right. Have you heard the joke about the pencil? No, I haven't. It didn't have a point. Oh, point. Of course, jokes have to have points, don't they? Yes, and so do pencils. And Roxanne, come a little closer. Oh, is this a secret? No, just an important question. Well, all right then. What's the best thing to give to a sick canary? I don't know. You give it a treatment. Ah, that is sick. <laughs> oh, you can't say that, Roxanne. See if you can do better. Of course I can. Oh. Uh, what's got lots and lots of rings but no fingers at all? Oh. It's not a steam shovel. No, it's a telephone. Ah. <laughs> oh, Roxanne, look. Wayne's coming. Is he all good? Can I stop now? Please be trained. Bye, Roxanne. Thanks for the sandwiches. Bye, Bill. Oh, bye, Wayne. Bye, Wayne. Have a trip. Have a good trip. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, I forgot my knapsack. Oh, with your sandwiches and Bill's blue metal. Yeah. Oh, I hope you get the train. Oh, they'll wait for me, won't they? See ya. Oh, oh, have a good, good trip. Time. Bye. Wayne's gone. Uh, I hope he wins his competition. Oh, so do I. Yeah. Even though he's a bit forgetful, yeah. maybe a personal manager would be a good idea. Yes, well, Gus did offer, didn't he? Yes, where is Gus? Now, he ought to have been here to oh. wave goodbye to Wayne. Yeah. Where, where is, is he? he? Oh, hello, Roxanne. Have you seen Gus yet? No, nowhere around here, Rox. Not even a whisper. No, he's not here either. He's not anywhere. Oh, don't start worrying, Roxanne. Oh, me? I'm not worried. It's just a bit strange. Look, huh? you don't think he could be offended by Wayne laughing at him, do you? Oh, I don't think so. Well, then what is he up to this time? Hi! All about! You nearly missed the boat that time. Oh, boy. Oh. Gee, I, I better not forget to post these or Uncle Merv will have me head served up on a dinner plate. <laughs> oh, dinner. I wonder if it's on those sandwiches. I'm hungry. Hey, hey, stop that. You can't pull me around. Gus, Gus, is that you? <laughs> It is you! Oh, help! I'm seasick! I don't like boats. It's not fair! You didn't tell me we'd be on a boat. Oh, Gus. Oh. Oh. Hey, you, my boy. You, you by yourself? Oh, yeah, me Uncle Merv lets me travel by myself. Yeah, What's yeah. his voice as I hear, then? Oh, 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 just talking to myself, you know. I hope so, because you only have one ticket. Oh, one ticket. Shaky boy. One ticket, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
to take a snell with you, said the Baron. Thanks, Gus. You've eaten all me sandwiches. You got me thrown off the ferry. You made me miss the Iron Man comp. What now? Well, as your personal manager, Wayne, I would suggest that uh, we get back to Bandy Wallop. Quick, smart, eh? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, they don't have boats there. Yeah. Hey! Hey, there's Mr. Squiggle's rocket. See that? Yeah, it'll be nice to be home, won't it? Yeah. I'm hungry. You nearly beat me to it, Rocket. Oh, I knew you'd do that. <laughs> Mr. Squiggle, are you there? Oh, yes. Come on, and Rocket. Three guesses. Oh, three guesses. Well, I think I'd better help you out first before we start guessing. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. Thank you. Oh. 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 Ah. 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 Yeah. Now, now can we have our three guesses? All right, what do I have to guess? Well, you have to guess who it was that I saw on the way to Bandy Wallop. Was it Wayne? Is that who you saw? And Mr. Squiggle, was Gus with him? Well, it looked like Gus. Oh, so Gus went off with Wayne. You know, I suspected that. Oh? Well, that is great. Now I don't have to keep looking for him everywhere. Except for Blackboard. That's right. We have to find mm. Blackboard, don't mm. we? Well, I think we should call him first before we start uh, actually looking. Uh, Blackboard? 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 Oh, no. Blackboard. Where are you, Blackboard? Mm, coming, ready or not. We are ready, Blackboard, aren't we, Mr. Squiggle? Then mm. let's have a squiggle or two. Or three or four. Or even, even, <laughs> even, even more. Are you ready from this, for this one? Oh, yes. This is from uh, Elizabeth Gerrard of Airlie Beach in Queensland. Ready? An it's easy one? Go, yes. It's well, got I'm, cross. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> How's... I don't have to do it. <laughs> that. Oh, that looks like a fish. I'll just move it over. It might be. How's that? Mm. And that. Line. And Another angle. That. That. Oh, could this be some sort of bird upside down? It might be. How's that? <laughs> How's that? There's a worm. A worm? Well, a claw. A claw? This is a monster. Ha, 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 ha. How's that? Lord, feet. Yeah. The water. The water. Jumping How's fish. That? Jumping fish. <laughs> well, actually... You're repeating me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a pelican. Pelican? And a fish. And a fish. Playing leapfrog. Playing leapfrog. <laughs> or leapfish. <laughs> leapfish. In leap year. Ah. <laughs> How's that? So who's leaping whom? Well, <laughs> the fish is... Leaping over the quick brown uh, um, bird, bird, pelican. And the bird's leaping the year. <laughs> That's it. But what the fish doesn't know right. is that when the fish upside okay, down, huh? when the fish uh, jumps over the bird, right. the pelican is going to open his beak wide and the fish will I'll jump straight jump in. into the into his beak lunch lunch Ooh. Mm, oh dear Ooh. oh i'm a bit scared by that one i'll close well, my eyes all right i'd hate to be in the fish's position <laughs> <laughs> he's looking a bit down in the mouth <laughs> not his mouth either mm -hmm. all right this one is from Teresa and michelle wilcox of oh. nedlands in western australia tricky mm, that looks like a monocle Monocle. It looks like a one glass. An all-day sucker. <laughs> How's that? Oh, who's the sucker now? Uh huh. <laughs> huh. What's it attached to? A boxing glove? Uh, might be. It might be. Mm. How's that? I don't know. Let me have. Oh, an eye. It's a mouse. Upside mouse, down. Yeah. Upside In down. In a chef's hat. A mouse with a with a, a, a right. sock on his ear. Oh. Keep his ear warm. Oh, what's this round circle? Well, that's his uh, muffler. Muffler, round uh -huh. muffler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've changed my mind. Okay. We'll put a, a a muffler. Oh no, a sock on his nose. How's that? Oh, I see. He's really getting around, isn't he? Around. 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 Around of mouse. <laughs> How's He's mixing with all the right socks. Ah. Ah, uh, oh, I know uh, what it is. What is it? A pig. That's it. This is with socks. One of the three little pigs who's trying to disguise himself <laughs> with socks on his ears so that the big bad wolf won't see him. I see. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are the socks on his ears, and yes. he's heavily disguised mm -hmm. as a, a, a socked pig. That's it. Pig in socks. <laughs> <laughs> but I've changed my mind. All right. Uh, Again. Uh, what should I make this you time? You are being tricky. You're very clever today. Every, everyone's tricky today. Are they? Uh huh. How's that? Hmm. 
Uh-huh. Marshmallow. Uh-huh. How's that? I don't know yet. Neither do I. Um, what's this line here? Uh, well, You've I got... don't quite know. I'll turn around. Turn around and turn around. Oh, I can't get this. I think the socks have turned into feet. Uh-huh. On water. Uh-huh. Actually... Oh, somebody's walking on water. Sitting on an ice flow, actually. Oh. <laughs> Who sits on an ice floe that we all know? Well, uh, this is a penguin called Flo. <laughs> Does she have a friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, after lunch she goes off to siesta uh. in Mexico. But at the moment yeah. she's at the Arctic Circle fishing for her 15th lunch. 15th lunch. As you can see by her shape. She always has 15 lunches, at least 15, probably oh, 20. yes. Mm -hmm. There she is, and she's wearing a bow tie, that's and it. that's her vest. Uh -huh. And there are her arms, and there's a fishing that's uh, it. line. Of course, it's a bit cold in the water. <laughs> and on the ice floe. Oh, that is very clever. Uh -huh. Very clever indeed. Another one? Yes, another one. Oh, spacewalk time. No, no, space it's time, time to play football. <laughs> it's time to play football. Oh, you're, you're pulling... Oh, wow, wow. Oh, oh, you're pulling come my Come on, leg. Mr. Squiggle. Oh, oh. Please, come oh. and do this squiggle here. Especially for you, Roxanne. Oh, thank you. You are nice. You're not holding my oh, hand. I am. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. This is from Dylan Strong in Middleton. Tasmania. Ah. Look, that almost looks like a football. A football? Yeah. We make a football out of it. How's that? Yes. Football <laughs> in halves. Or it could be a coffee bean. Coffee bean? Mm -hmm. Where has the coffee bean? I don't know. Where all good coffee beans have been to. Where's that? Where coffee is made. Ah. In the jar. Which, uh -huh. <laughs> With the other beans. Uh -huh. uh, how's that? Uh, a fish? Well, no, a sort worm? of, yes. Actually, it's a lobster. Yes, I thought it looked something. Oh, and that's its claw. Yes, right. That's one claw. One claw. Two claws. Three claws. Four claws. Uh -huh. very, it's very cute looking lobster. Yeah. With, uh, with its, um, yes, those. Yeah, he's going to shake hands with a sardine. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, not a wise move for the sardine. Uh, the sardine is uh, uh, feeling a bit doubtful about it. There, upside down. Right. <laughs> so, the sardine is feeling a bit doubtful about shaking the hand of the uh, lobster. That's it. Lobster. The lobster tells him not to worry. It's only his Santa Claus. Santa Claus? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Spiegel, you are tricky. That's, I like that one. That's very, very clever. Uh -huh. Another one. Ah, another spacewalk time. No, no, not another spacewalk. Come on. Oh, you're pulling my leg. You're being very difficult today, aren't you? Yeah. Trying to get away twice in a row. Now, this one's from Angie Chapman of Port Augusta West. Oh. In South Australia. Oh, I see. Well. Another monocle. A monocle? How's that? Makes a bicycle. Mm-hmm. With water and a sun. Actually... Ah, a whale? An octopus. No, it doesn't have enough legs. Well, actually, I thought it was a portly perch. Portly perch. <laughs> Which is just another word for a fat fish. Upside down. <laughs> He's pretending to be an egg in a cup. <laughs> With a yo-yo, of course. Really? <laughs> and you're pretending to be an egg in a cup. Oh, I see. Yeah. You don't like that? Yes, I do. Oh, he looks a bit <laughs> looks a bit confused, doesn't he? <laughs> Funny eyes. You mean he's looking cross-eyed? Yes. But I've changed my mind. Well, I like his grin. It's <laughs> quite <that>? amusing. <laughs> Almost looks like the grin of a termite. Ah. Mm, that's what I imagine a termite? termites. Their grins are like. Oh. Mm. oh really? Because they eat wood. <laughs> well, I suppose that's what they would look like. <laughs> Oh, what are you turning it into now? Well, actually, it's a gummy shark. A gummy shark? Who's tired of being gummy, so he's got a new set of false teeth. Yeah, there are sharks there. without teeth. Uh -huh. And uh, this is... Uh, he's saying hello to a, a jellyfish upside down. So, 
a gummy shark. There he is. He's just got his false teeth. That's his false teeth there. And Same. a monocle. Uh, a monocle. A monocle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a monocle. We must have a monocle today. Saying hello to a jellyfish. Uh -huh. Looks as though the jellyfish's eyes have dropped. Well, actually, he's got two, either two yo-yos or else it's a jellyfish on wheels. Right. <laughs> Freewheeling through the ocean. <laughs> through the ocean. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. That's uh -huh. good. <laughs> Let's have another one. Another one. Another one. This one comes from Sam um. Pitts. Hurry up. Oh, Blackboard. And you've been so good so far. Yes. From Mulloway, New South Wales. Ah. You've got to do it quickly How's before that? Blackboard wakes up. Hmm. Double, huh? How's that? I don't know. Uh, oh, could be, um... It could be. Oh, could I have a clue, please? Well... Well, when you think of one. I... This is a hard one. It, it says I... Mm. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. You're not sure? Not quite sure. Only my nose knows. Well... This is a corner down here. What's that? You could turn a corner and turn it into something else. I could. What would you... Well, it looks as though the worm has turned the corner. The worm? Oh, this is the worm, is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, now it's a rope. Yeah? How's that? Bunny! Rabbit! Um, uh, a rabbit playing chasings with a kite. Hmm, I wonder who'll win. Uh-huh. So there's the kite, that's the tail of the kite, is it? It's yeah. upside down. Upside down. Yeah, what have we got? Grass on the bottom. That's the shadow. Oh, the shadow. A very moving shadow. <laughs> the rabbit that's hopping to it and playing chasings with the kite. <laughs> nice, very good. Cute rabbit, he's got a lovely smile. Another one? Yes, another one. Oh, <laughs> you wait till you see this um, one. Um, hurry up. All right, Blackboard, it's not long to go. That was Blackboard. Yes, look at this one from uh, Angelo oh, Walter I, of Warrnambool in Victoria. I can't possibly look. Oh. <laughs> I can't look either. What are it, we going to do? Well, uh, I guess I have to do the squiggle. <laughs> All right. Uh, has, Two crosses, three uh, noughts. Oh, oh they, they were kisses for you. Oh, right. well. Two you, kisses. Two kisses. Three uh, bubbles. Huh? Uh, Blowing huh. bubbles. How's that? Stars. Stars. How's that? Mm. Mm-hmm. What? what on earth? Fine. I know. It's you know? Fish. A three little fish. School of fish. One fish, two fish, three fish. Where uh, are they going? Well, now, can fish. you guess? No. I don't oh! Into the jaws of something... Ah. Something rather formidable. A rather hungry crocodile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but there's no need to worry. Why not? Because you see over here, this uh, sea egg, spiky sea egg, is looking after the three little fish. And when that crocodile goes chomp on the three little fish, all the spikes will stick into his mouth and it will come open again and the three little fish, fish will be free. Including the spiky sea fish. <laughs> it looks as though one of his little... Oh, oh that's another one. Oh, oh, it's right. time to go. It is. Oh, no well, more squiggles. No, no more. Oh. Well, listen, if you see Wayne and Gus, tell them to hurry up, would you, Mr. Squiggle? Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. And uh, don't forget to wave to them. Uh, oh, um, uh, no, no, no. I'll tell you what. I'll wave one hand, I'll wave two hands, and then you can wave two hands, and I'll wave my, my foot. Foot? Foot. And I'll wave my head, and I'll wave my other foot. Oh, you can't wave <laughs> both feet, Mr. Squiggle. You know what'll happen then. You'll be spacewalking before you know it. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, you'll leave Rocket behind. Oh. And he'll be offended. No, I think, I think we should, I should help you board Rocket. Roxanne, and you go home by Rocket. I don't think I've ever told you this. I'm sure it's something I'd like to hear, Mr. Squiggle. You're such a help. Thank you, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and don't forget to wave to them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Fiddle. <laughs> It was terrible, terrible. I got seasick and chased and shouted at and we didn't get to the iron snail competition either. Wayne, what happened? They threw us off the ferry. Oh, why? And there weren't enough sandwiches and I'm hungry. There weren't any sandwiches thanks to you. <laughs> You're hungry, I'm starving. Oh, poor Wayne. <gasps> what now? Uncle Merv's letters. I oh. forgot to post them. Oh, 
Wayne, you are forgetful. I better go and tell him. <laughs> Look, you like to pay much. <laughs> 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 